Today I'm going to talk about uh, dividing algebraic expressions with exponents. So basically when you have something like x to the fifth, you want to divide it by x to the third. That's what we're dealing with here. Now, my general argument about um, exponents is it's sort of like they're the little brother of the coefficients or the numbers in front of the variable. So kind of like in any real life scenario, you get sort of a hand-me-down uh, in terms of for exponents, that means in terms of the operation that you perform. So let's look at the order of operations really quickly. Uh, it's sort of in pyramid form here because I, you know, just didn't want to you to think that somehow multiply was better than divide. It's not. They're on the same level. Uh, the highest level, of course, is parentheses. Then you're dealing with exponents. Then multiply and divide and then add and subtract. So add and subtract, there's no hierarchy between those two. I think some people think that there are, but subtract is just as good as add, and its mom tells it that every day. But anyway, somehow these are better than this in the mathematical cast system. What does this all mean? Well, say for instance I wanted to do 4x to the second power times 3x to the third. The relationship that I want to or the operations that I want to perform on the coefficients and the exponents are sort of related by the whole idea of the uh, order of operations hierarchy. So this shows times, so that's exactly what I do. The coefficients do what they're told. So 4 times 3. And then I can, of course, have the x and just go ahead and bring that down. Now I'm dealing with the exponents, but like I said, it's sort of like the little brother. So I have. I'm in multiply land right now in terms of doing that operation with the numbers. Well, the little brother gets the hand-me-down, and the hand-me-down of multiplication is addition. So when I multiply the numbers, little brother adds. So all I have to do with the exponent here is 3 plus 2, and I get 5. Now, if you're on the division lesson, you probably already know that. But let's look at the idea of a divide situation. So I'm going to sort of roll this down a little bit. Say I have 5x to the third over 25x to the first power. Now, in this scenario, the coefficients do what they're told. This line means divide, of course. I'm going to separate that out so it's easier to differentiate them. Um, this line means divide, of course, so I'm sort of in this general vicinity right there. So 5 divided by 25 is, of course, 1 fifth, so 1 over 5. Now, in my little hierarchy universe with division, I'm at divide, so the little brother exponents can only hope to get the leftover, which is subtract. So in this case, for my exponents, which I should have done in red keeping with a the theme, I'll do 3 minus 1, so it goes x to the second power. And you want to keep the uh, exponent on the one that's bigger uh, in terms of which exponent is larger. So let's do some, and then we can sort of uh, get a look at how these go. I'm going to do four of them. I'm trying to make this as short as possible so you get the idea, but you don't have to live in watching this thing forever. Now, in this case, uh, the original setup shows that it's a division problem, so Big Brother is going to divide, and the number that you're be here is 1 and 1, so your answer is going to be 1 and 1 as well, so it doesn't matter. From here, I need to worry about the little brothers. Uh, I'm going to circle the one that's bigger because it helps me remember which side of the equation uh, the final answer ends on. So, or side of the dividing line, I'm sorry, not equation. 8. But remember, if I'm doing divide, little brother subtracts, it's all that's left over. So 8 minus 3, which leaves you with y to the fifth power. Now, this is over 1, because, you know, 1 divided by 1, but you don't need to put that. Mathematically speaking, you can leave it. It's assumed if it's not there, it's divided by 1. So that's how you're going to deal with that one. In the next one, I'm sort of looking for like variables. Now, when you do a division, the coefficients in front will divide any time, or multiply any time. But the uh, exponents will only interact if they have the same variable to work with. I'm going to rearrange this just a little bit. This is just a visual setup, <coughs> so I can see that the m's are something that I can compare. Uh, the j doesn't have another match, and neither does the b term, so uh, I'm going to keep those pretty much where they are. 
The coefficients here, of course, would be 1 and 1, so I'm not going to particularly worry about it. For my m, here's my bigger one. 9 is bigger. So I just do 9 minus 7, because remember, coefficients divide, little brother subtracts. So m to the second power. And since the bigger, you, I had the circle down here, I'm going to keep it down here. Everything else I just leave the same, because there's nothing I can do with them. You don't make any connection here. They don't combine together to make uh, mb to the seventh. That doesn't happen. You keep those separate. It's just the way that it works. So that's that. What happens if you have something with a negative exponent in it? Not much more complicated. However, I would deal with the negative exponent first. Um, some people like to go ahead and say, well, 6 is bigger, so I'm going to subtract, and then it's 6 minus negative 2. That's all fine. If you want to go ahead and circle this one, and then 6 minus negative 2, and then you get an x over 8 down here, that works perfectly fine. I don't tend to do things that have multiple signs in them, like minus negative between uh, numbers, I mean. So I'll move the x to the negative 2 first. And remember, if it's negative, all you do is flip it to a positive and put it on the opposite side of that dividing line. So x to the second power, x to the sixth, y to the second over y to the fifth. Now, in my denominator here, I have common, you know, like terms. So I can go ahead and treat it. One and one here would be the coefficients. Big brothers are multiplying. Little brothers add. So 6 plus 2 is x to the eighth power. That's my x. It's going to be on the bottom, by the way. And in this case, so it might be a good idea to go ahead and do the double circle thing to let yourself know that's where it's going to go. Uh, on the other side of it, 5 is bigger than 2, so uh, big brothers divide, so little brothers subtract. 5 minus 2 is y to the third power. So that's that one. My handwriting is a little weird to the, with these markers. My good markers aren't here. Uh, and the last one, I deal with this. Now they're both... Um, negative, so that means they're both going to go to the top. But just to show you what else you could do with it, uh, I'll do it the way that you might also consider. The bigger of the m's is here, the bigger of the n's is here. So what I'm going to do, you know, big brothers divide, little brothers subtract, so I'm end up doing 5 minus negative 2, which is of course uh, 5, 4, not 4, minus negative 2, <laughs> which is the same as 4 plus 2, so you get m to the sixth power on the top. And for the n's, you'll do 3 minus negative 1, which is the same as 3 plus 1, which means your final answer is n to the fourth power. So that's how you, one of the ways you could do that one. Or if you'd rather go ahead and move this up to the top, your whole numerator at that point will become m to the fourth times m to the second times n to the third times n to the first. That'd all be over 1. You just put these two together by multiplying and adding, and you'd still get m to the 6th. And then you do these together, and you get n to the 4th. So either way that you want to do those is fine. But generally, the idea is you want to look for any sort of coefficient work that you need to do. Uh, do the divide if you need to. If this had had a, you know, the whole thing here, it had a 21 in front of it, and then this had had a 7, I would put a 3 here in front. because you have to do whatever operation is told to do, or you're told to do in the uh, numerator, or uh, sorry, with the coefficients before you go ahead and do uh, work with the exponents. But big brother divides, little brother subtracts, and then everything else should work out just fine.